Hot on the wheels of last week's video on how to let your Joomla template manage the formatting of your articles when you copy and paste. Today we're going to look at a tool that will make it even easier to clean up what you're pasting into your Joomla site. Hey there Joomla fans, Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 187. Yes, 187 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel. Like I said, uh, last week we were looking at uh, when you copy and paste into your Joomla articles or in a module or wherever you're pasting your content that you'd want to get rid of the coding that is in it, HTML, maybe Microsoft Word, something from the program, maybe even your email program, uh, and strip that out so that your template can handle how those different elements are displayed. And um, our good friend on the channel here, Mary Nevius of Webby Design, uh, left a comment on that video saying, don't forget about the JCE editor when you are pasting for cleaning up that code. And uh, I had forgotten about that. So uh, in a continuation today, we're going to see how to set up JCE editor so that when you paste, it automatically does that cleaning for you. And you don't have to use some of that hunt and peck method that we looked at last week. So let's turn our attention to the screen and we'll get right to that. Today's video is brought to you by MySites.Guru. Head on over to MySites.Guru, get a free site audit for your Joomla site, and while you are there, check out all the information and tools that you can use to save time and money when managing one or multiple Joomla sites. And if you decide to subscribe, use the coupon code BASICJOOMLA and you will get your first month free. All right, so you pretty much remember here that um, this is the site that I was copying content over for a client last week. And so I still have their old site here, still working on their site. If we copy their text here and from the page and go to an article, and this is just with JCE editor installed, it's the free JCE editor and installed with no changes to settings. If we go control V, we get some formatting and color. And when we click on code, we see there's a whole bunch of stuff in here that is controlling font size and the color of the font and the type of font and the line height, all stuff that we want the template to change. And last week we saw that we could go through and we could select some of this, or you could copy and you could, you could take what you'd copied and paste as plain text. Uh, but here's a really cool way that you can do things differently. Uh, let's just go to JCE. So here, uh, install, we go to components, JCE editor. And in the global configuration for the editor, you will see you have some options to validate the HTML that is being pasted into your site and that's on, on, your, sorry, on your page, your content. And you can say yes or no to that. And you can also say, hey, I wanna validate against HTML, HTML5, or maybe you wanna do four or you can do mixed, All right? Here's your entity coding. Um, and uh, I won't go into everything here. In fact, I'd have to look that up to explain it well to you. Uh, do you want to keep non-breaking spaces? Okay, so those are the ampersand NBSP. Do you want to keep those when you paste them or do you want to get rid of them? Um, and if you say you don't want them, it will take them out and it will just change those to a non-breaking space. You'll just end up with one space. So I'm going to say, yes, I want that. And do you want to pad empty tags? Uh, and you can read about that here uh, for uh, padding. And some empty tags, paragraph, heading one to six, pre, uh, div, that are padded with non-breaking space so they maintain their structure. So you can decide whether you want that or not. Container element, when you hit enter uh, or elements that are in there, do you want to change a paragraph into a paragraph, a div into a div, paragraph into line break? A div into a line break, none paragraph, a none to a paragraph, or a none to a line break. So you want to experiment and get what you want. The explanations are here. Now that's just the general configuration. What you also want to do is go to Editor Profiles, and you can set these requirements and rules based on the different profiles that you have different user groups assigned to. We only have default published here, and that's how JCE Editor comes. But we click on Default. And then we can go to the plugin parameters. And these are the buttons in the plugin. We go down to clipboard. And here we have a bunch of information, uh, a bunch of settings that will control 
how things are cleaned up when you paste in the JCE editor in the content screen, not the code screen, although I think code screen comes into play for that, but into your content area of the editor. So do you want to allow people to use the paste dialog? If they go control, if they go to paste something using a tool into your into the content, uh, a window pops up and you can paste into there, or do you want them to just the default is to let them paste right in the article. If you're going to use that dialog, you just set the size of what that pop-up is. Uh, if Word, Microsoft Word is being pasted, do you want it to be cleaned up? And you have the option only detect it or always. I select always. Do you want to strip class attributes only from Word Office content or always? And you say yes. And this will, you can read about that, whether or not class attributes are stripped when pasting. Uh, all classes are, uh, are removed from Word uh, and slash Office content and different things that you can read up on there. Now, remove all spans. Uh, in our text over here, we will see that we've got some spans in here. Uh, da, 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 there's span. And where is the opening span? Oh, yeah, span, style, color, font, family, Arial. You know, so you could just strip all of that out right away. So... We could say, yes, we want all spans removed, or maybe you're going to choose to keep, for instance, color inside of there. So for now, we'll say no. Do you want to remove all style? Oh, now, also, look, if you remove all spans and say yes, it will remove everything. Sorry, the next option, remove all styles. Do you want to remove all the styles that you're pasting? And if you say yes, you have an option to list some that you want to keep. So for instance, maybe you want to keep font weight. You would put font weight to keep that in there or text direction, you would put that in there. And if you're saying no, you can um, uh, put a list of some things that, uh, some styles that you want to keep, if you want to keep font size or font color, right? So yes, remove everything except keep these, or no, don't remove anything, but do remove this list here. The same thing with tags. Do you want to remove uh, tags? image, object, iframe, um, you can list the tags that you want removed. Now, if you list uh, the tags to be removed, that's one, two, or three, hunt and peck. But if down here you want to um, keep some tags, you can put a list of what you want to keep and everything else will be removed. Do you want to remove attributes like remove uh, language or a line? You can make a list of the attributes you want removed when pasting. Now, do you want to allow event attributes like on click or on load if you're pasting something like that, uh, uh, HTML code or something? Do you want that to be allowed, uh, that code to be kept? Yes or no? Do you want to remove empty paragraphs? And now this is where we get into in global configuration, new lines options set to line breaks. That's how line breaks will be handled. Um, you know, empty paragraphs are removed from pasted content or converted into line breaks if the global configuration new lines is set to line breaks. Do you want to remove WebKit styles? Do you want to process footnotes from Office documents? Do you want to process images for upload? So if you copy text and it has an image in it, uh, content has image in it, when you paste in JCE editor, if you have this set to yes, it will show an image square where that image goes. And then later on, you can upload the image and fill it in. It doesn't paste the image, but it reminds you there's an image there that you need to take care of and upload and link to on, on your server. You can also remove content based on regular expressions. Now, regular expressions are uh, just uh, a system of rules where and filters of expressions where you can remove certain things as they occur. So for instance, if you had slash Joomla slash GI, that would remove all instances of the word Joomla and Joomla with capital J. And with regular expressions, you can go crazy with the filters that you have there. But um, you can, so you can remove some content just based on the filters that are in there. Do you want to allow paste as HTML? Yes or no. Allow paste as plain text? Yes or no. And then you down here, you can uh, even control which buttons will show up on the um, on the editor. And maybe you don't want to give people the option to paste this plain text. So you can turn that off. All right. So having made some of these changes, let's just save. And let's see how our paste example before from before is handled. Now, we're going to go back to editor, 
we're going to refresh this just so it's a brand spanking new empty page. And now I'm going to go control V. Look at that. We've taken out quite a bit of the formatting of font and that, uh, yet we still have color for this uh, link here. If we look at the code, we see, man, there's a lot, uh, some fewer things in here. Uh, we still have font size, we still have Arial, we still have that in the, uh, and strong, and, but we don't have any spans. We remove those. Now let's go back. We still, we st see that we still have fonts showing up there. So let's go back to plugin parameters. Let's go back to paste. Let's go back and let's remove all spans. Uh, let's remove all styles. We'll say yes, and we're not going to keep any. So that's font weight text direction. We'll just see this as a way to control things here. We'll go here. We will refresh, get a blank screen, and we will go control V. And now when we check, we no longer have um, any fonts or color information with the fonts that are in that text. So more is getting displayed just as it is. We still have strong and we still have some things that are down there, but um, uh, that, that are showing for strong. We still have the uh, color being applied to the link, although I think that's in a template. And look, we still have uh, non-breaking line spaces. Oh, that's something to work on and look. Anyways, what I wanted to show you today, just very quickly, was that uh, when you are cutting and pasting from other sources, a web page, an email, or Microsoft Office, J the JCE Editor, even the free version, has some really great settings that you can set up for pasting. So it just automatically cleans things up. And that is really nice. Pro tip, if you are using, if you're building a site or you have other people using the site and you don't want to train them to do that hunt and peck, remove formatted uh, uh, aspects of what they're putting into their, into their content or articles or working on the site, you can set up these rules for the user group they're assigned to in JCE Editor. And when they paste, it's just going to get cleaned up. And that helps you keep things consistent on your website in formatting. And it allows you to have the control of using your Joomla template to control how your content looks. So use JCE Editor's features here that filter and clean up pasting. And you'll have a much easier time, a quicker time for you working on sites and a much easier time getting others to use the site consistently so it has a consistent look. So I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, please subscribe if it was, ring the bell to get notifications. And as usual, YouTube thinks there's a bunch of things that you might be interested in. They're popping up on the screen now. It would be great if you watch them, check out some other videos. And until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.